Altair, the weird but wonderful star. Welcome to Stargazers. I'm James Alberry, And I'm Marlene Hidalgo. And I'm Dean Regis. And we're here to help you be sure you know what you're seeing in the night sky when you look up. Whenever we talk about the Summer Triangle, we often talk about its brightest star, Vega. But as wonderful as Vega is, it can't beat the second brightest star of the Triangle, Altair, when it comes to being weird and wonderful. Wondering what we're talking about? Let's show you. Okay, we've got our sky set up for early evening, late July to early August. And if you look east, you'll see three bright stars that make up the points of the Summer Triangle. The brightest being Vega in Lyra the Harp, the second brightest Altair in Aquila the Eagle, and the third brightest Deneb, marking the tail of Cygnus the Swan. Now, although there are many strange stars in the heavens, Altair is one of the strangest. Located only 17 light years away from us, which is pretty close star-wise, it is the 12th brightest star we can see. And if we compare it to our almost million mile wide sun, Altair is not only one and a half times its size, but since it's a hot white star, Altair is actually nine times brighter than our cooler yellow sun. But the really peculiar thing about Altair has to do with the length of its day. You see, a day for any star or planet is defined as the amount of time it takes to make one complete rotation on its axis. Now we all know that our Earth makes one turn on its axis every 24 hours, so an Earth day is 24 hours long. Our Sun, however, has a much longer day because it makes one complete turn on its axis every 25 and a half Earth days. So one Sun day is 25 and a half Earth days long. So you might think that because our Sun is so much larger than our Earth and turns so much slower, then an even larger star like Altair would turn even slower than our Sun. Well, guess again. In fact, Altair doesn't turn slower than our Sun. It is instead one of the fastest rotating stars we know. Indeed, Altair's rotational speed at its equator is 160 miles per second, which means that Altair rotates once every six and a half hours. So one Altair day is only a quarter of an Earth day long. Plus, its incredibly fast rotational speed produces one very weird effect. Indeed, Altair spins so rapidly that it bulges out all around its middle. So much so that Altair is twice as wide from side to side as it is from top to bottom. This gives Altair the distinction of having one of the worst waistline problems of any star in the cosmos. Have I mentioned how much I like M&Ms? Alrighty, let's see what the planets are doing this week. Okay, head outside shortly after sunset any night this week, and if you look toward the west, you're going to see a beautiful triangular meeting of the red planet Mars, the ring planet Saturn, and the dazzling blue star Spica. To find them, simply use our handy Arc to Arcturus and speed on to Spica trick. If you look towards the northwest, you'll see the Big Dipper. Trace an arrow through its handle and continue that arc to the bright star Arcturus, the brightest star in Bootes, the herdsman. Then continue that line toward the west where you'll encounter a nice little triangle. The reddish light that isn't twinkling is our old friend Mars. Up and to the left of Mars is my mom's favorite planet, the one with the rings, beautiful Saturn. And just below Saturn, you can find the brightest star in Virgo, Spica. Spica is over 260 light years away and puts out more than 10,000 times as much radiation as our sun. So get outside to see Altair, the totally out of shape star of the Summer Triangle. And look toward the west to see an even smaller triangle made of two planets and a star. Keep, Keep looking, looking up! up.